In the Duchess of Mandalore, the plaza area in this episode was something that I had wanted to see in Star Wars since I was a kid. Because I knew it was a Ralph McCrory painting, I knew it was something George would be okay with if we used it. Something about it was seen so futuristic and yet galaxy far, far away. It really felt like Coruscant with these very bizarre towers and a big monument in the middle. I'm always happy whenever we can give Ralph a nod. He's been so important to the overall look of Star Wars. He's been such an inspiration to so many people on the show. And there's nothing I like more than, than bringing to life uh, some of his work. I cannot talk about this episode without mentioning the design of the sound. It's unbelievable. It's one of my favorite sound design episodes. Matt Wood and Dave Acord bring it to life through all these little servos and sounds and whirring motors, and it feels like you're in this futuristic planet. They can take something that seems very basic, like a detonator dropping, and when it hits, suddenly your ears are ringing, and it feels like slow motion, but it's not slow motion. So you feel like you're in the moment and that you're one of the people that got thrown by it. And it added all this tension and suspense. I was blown away when I watched it. Watch that sequence, turn the sound down on your TV. Watch that sequence with the sound. It's, it's completely night and day, and that is why, as a director, I was stressed. Sound is so important.